the third of the continuous probability distributions that we're going to learn about is the exponential probability distribution. The exponential probability distribution is used to model the intervals of time between occurrences of an event. Now you might say, that sounds familiar. I remember something about occurrences and time, and what you may be thinking about is the Poisson distribution that we learned about as a discrete probability distribution. I'm going to clarify the difference between these two probabilities, between these two distributions in just a little while, but for now let's look at how we would use an exponential probability distribution. It's the time that a travel agent spends with each customer, or the days before travel that passengers purchase tickets. So it's an interval of time before an event, or the time in months that a car battery lasts. Let's explore the characteristics of this exponential distribution. The mean and the standard deviation, and this is also like a Poisson distribution, are equal. But the exponential probability distribution is heavily right skewed. In fact, if we look at the skewness measure, it will be equal to the number 2. And I promised I would clarify between an exponential and a Poisson distribution. Poisson, in the Poisson distribution, the, the word in French means fish, so I thought maybe a fishing analogy would help. A Poisson distribution is the occurrences per interval of time. So if we're spending spring break on the lake doing some fishing, the number of fish caught per hour would, be, would follow a Poisson distribution, occurrences per interval of time. But the exponential distribution is the time between occurrences, the number of minutes that elapse between bites, between strikes on the line of a fish that may potentially end up in the boat. And this gives us an idea of how the exponential and the Poisson distributions are related. Here is the probability density function. You'll notice that letter E, Euler's number. And you will see the cumulative probabilities also with that letter E. And as before, you did not need to memorize these distributions or these formulas, but here is how we could use them in the real world. The time it takes to restock the ship after a seven-day cruise follows an exponential distribution. On average, restocking takes 10 hours. What is the probability that restocking will take eight hours? What is the probability that restocking will take between eight and nine hours? Now, to answer these questions, I have another spreadsheet that I would encourage you to use. This is the continuous distribution week 10 Excel spreadsheet. And this is where I use the exponential distribution function to answer these questions. The exponential distribution function has three arguments. The first is the value of x, that's the random variable. The second is the inverse of the mean, or 1 over m, 1 divided by m. And the third is true, which gives us a cumulative probability. That's what we will use for all of these examples. If you open up the continuous distribution week 10 Excel spreadsheet, you'll see it looks like this. And we'll need to enter the mean and some values in order to get the, the probabilities. The first thing we'll enter is a mean of 10. Now that is required to use this spreadsheet. And we want to know the probability of the load time taking eight hours. We'll put that value right below the mean. It's a value of eight. And we get the probability as a 0 0.5507. That's the probability less than eight, and I've also added for the probabilities greater than. If we want scores between two given values, we would enter those as the minimum and the maximum, let's say eight and nine. And this gives me the probability between those two. So uh, roughly 4% of the time would we have a load time between 8 and 9 hours. As you fill in these numbers, you will notice things change throughout the spreadsheet, including you will be able to see the formulas that you've entered for each of these examples. And that's what we need to cover for exponential distributions. All right, those are our three distributions. We have the uniform distribution, the normal distribution, which we'll use a lot, 
and the exponential distribution. So do you have any questions before we wrap up today? I want to say thank you to all of you for being here. Hope you had a great spring break. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time.